everybody. Thanks for stopping by the shop. Of course, Howie has to kick the camera. Uh, hopefully I'm still in frame. Let's see, I'll scoot over a little bit. So, uh, Sunday evening, and uh, I'm tired. I've been in the shop for two days working, and uh, I love it. Uh, I haven't done anything else but be in the shop here. And uh, it's been a great time. Chewy, my buddy and mentor, has been over here working on a pool cue. And uh, we've had uh, some good and bad experiences. And uh, I have to tell you, the bads, uh, I created one of the bads. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the junior. Um, Saturday was a tough day. We had to make a part a couple of three times. Sometimes my fault, sometimes not my fault. But, uh, you know, you learn. You learn from the bad. You learn. Experience is nothing more than a trail of mistakes. And uh, I'll, t I'll talk about it real quick. Um, but uh, I just, uh, we just had a good, very good time. And uh, we're not done. Close. Um, so we're going to, on this video, I'm going to show you uh, a couple new tools that I purchased. Really excited about it. Uh, one was an eBay purchase, and the second one was uh, from uh, Facebook YouTube Machining, that group. Uh, really excited about both and can't wait to uh, get to use both of them. And uh, the uh, last week I showed you uh, that I had purchased an 8-ball, and uh, somebody had written me and said, Hey, Mr. Pete's already taken one apart and he's done it all. The 8-Ball's got nothing to do with Mr. Pete or, or what's inside of it. Uh, the 8-Ball came up from uh, Buck Run where I got I, co I coined the phrase of 8-Ball magic and uh, some of the guys have uh, had some fun with it and I was making some hell of purchases. Well, for the last two days, I've been talking to this ball as Chewy and I have been on our adventure and uh, it got to be really scary. Day two, uh, after day one, the ball was doing a lot of strong predictions. Very, very scary. We'd ask, are we going to screw this part up? Or are we going to do this? Are we going to finish that? And uh, we'd ask the eight ball, and uh, it would uh, give us an answer. Um, so anyway, enough of me yapping. Uh, eh, let's see. Well, uh, all my buddies out there enjoy this video. Let's see. Come on. What does it say? Uh-oh. Very doubtful. Come on, guys. You've got to enjoy it. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's look at a couple purchases, and then I'm going to take you on a quick handheld tour of what we've been doing here. Okay. I've been waiting, and I got some packages delivered. It's uh, actually Tuesday today. Screwy Tuesday for this week's already gone. So let's see what we got delivered. This one was a eBay purchase. Let's hope it arrived in good shape. Looks like it did. baby. Let me get that thing out over here and we'll take a peek. Ooh, it looks good. And yeah, let's open the second one. Well, let's go open this goodie.
Well, this is the uh, tool I got off of eBay. It's a suburban tool. It's a uh, compound sign vise, six by six. Uh, last uh, calibration was in uh, December of uh, 2014, so it must have been in service. Everything really seems to check out nice. It's missing the straps and the, uh, the straps for holding it up, which that's going to be simple to make. And the uh, and I have to make some fences for it also, but a very nice unit and the uh, magnet tried it out and the magnet holds great. So real excited about this tool. Make a wrench for it also. Um, got it for a real good price and real happy with it. So I'll be doing some uh, some cool things on the surface grinder with that. I'm also going to make a uh, pallet for the top of it uh, that uh, I think would really be handy to have also. This is the uh, second item that came. It's a, a Holdridge um, Model 4D, no 4S. Uh, it's not the deluxe, the 4S uh, radio radi Radii eye cutter. Um, looking forward to uh, doing some reading and how to do this and start making some balls around here. But uh, got it for a good price uh, off YouTube. Uh, one of the guys on YouTube, uh, Rick was his name. And uh, um, uh, I thought it was a great price and going to have some fun learning how to use the uh, tool be uh, coming up in a future video. Well, we've been working on this pull cue, and uh, right now in the lathe is the butt end of the pull cue. And what's going to happen is this uh, 3 8 rod will get threaded into the pull cue. And this is a, uh, this is a part I made this morning for him. It's basically, um, uh, a 9 16 20 thread on the outside and a 3 8 16 on the inside. And so the um, this will thread through and then it'll thread through and pull this part onto the butt end of the pull cue. And the 3 8 bolt will get cut off flush with the face of this and so we'll end up with this, this spud, this threaded spud at the end of the pull cue. And the other item we've been working at is, let me grab it. This is the front of the pull cue. And so we basically cut a 9 16 20 internal thread there to fit this spud right here. And so what will end up happening is that spud will be on there and then the pull cue will thread down onto it. Uh, we had quite a few adventures with it and uh, I just got to tell you, I mean, hanging with Chewy, uh, we had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Like I said, some mistakes happened. That's uh, it's part of machining and uh, part of it's uh, making corrections. I ended up, um, when I built, uh, let's see, which one did I do first? I had to actually make an internal thread um, to check the external thread. Um, this piece has been, you can see it's kind of marred up. We, it's one of our, uh, this, this guy actually got tightened onto here and we had a problem there and we had to get it off. But, uh, so we cut, I cut that internal thread as a uh, template for the external thread so we can make the next piece. Anyway, all that, uh, Yap, yap. Uh, like I said, I've had a lot of fun and uh, almost done with it. Okay, here's the uh, my tool post grinder. It's sitting out here on my welding table. And uh, I got a little adventure to tell you guys. As you know, uh, last week I showed you the tool post grinder grinding my three jaw chuck. And when I was producing that video, I was going to show or or tie to that video the videos that I uh, 
that I had done on building the external guard over here, uh, which was this unit, and also the, the belt guard. Some items I built for, and I had a lot of fun building them. Well, as I was looking at one of the videos called Shorty 13, I think, that showed the tool when I bought it, well, as I was looking, there was this arbor, and it's a quarter inch diameter collet type arbor. Well, it wasn't there. The other day when I was doing the work, it, as I started putting everything away, it wasn't there, but yet I saw it in Shorty 13. I have to tell you, I have tore up this shop looking for this guy. I've looked in every little nook and cranny where I put funny items. Uh, I knew I had it because it was in a video. I couldn't find it. Well, it's Sunday today, and Chewie and I have been working in the shop, and I told him that I've been looking for this, and so while he was working on, you know, doing something on the machine, I was out here still rooting around trying to find it. Well, we took a break, or, and, and uh, I was in the other side of the shop, and, and he finally says, I found it. He says, you found it. And, and uh, it turned out, uh, he, he said he was going to make me look longer, but he finally could, had to give in. It was actually in the machine room uh, on the table under some gloves. Uh, I must have looked at using it uh, back when I ground the chuck and opted not to, because this is a smaller one, and, and set it down and then threw some gloves on top of it. So after at least, I want to say I've got 45 minutes to an hour of tearing up my shop, uh, at least the tool returned. Um, so, anywho, thought I'd share that with you guys. Closing, I hope you enjoyed the, today's video. Uh, not much machining, a lot of talking, uh, but uh, I just got to tell you we had a blast, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you uh, next Screwy Tuesday.